Hello! How's it going, everybody? Alright, so... Yeah, um... I'm gonna be turning this into a PCB. So, let's get right into the news. I'm gonna just start by... Uh, you know, I'll start with the Pro Micro. I'll just slap it up here. And then I need the 4067 multiplexers. Uh, this one. I'll just make four of these. Okay, so now, um, uh, see, or is there five? Yeah, that. Um, and then raw, I believe, is the power supply pin. Actually, no, I'll, here, I'll pull it up here. So it does take five volts. Uh, here we go. Oh yeah, there's a 3.3 volt variant and a five volt variant. Um, I'm gonna be using the one on Amazon I found um, I think is a 5 volt variant, so I'm probably going to be going with that and then just using a level shifter for the serial. Uh, but I could just use a 3.3 volt one. So, um, no, that's not the Pro Micro. That is, I don't want to look at that. Best way to power, here we go. Raw, all right. So yeah, the five volt supply is gonna go in here. And then, um, here, I'll just rotate that. There. Uh, I'll add ground. How do you rotate parts? Perfect. Okay, um... I guess I'll tie all these to ground. Right? Um, I'll go like this too. Yeah. Alright, um, and you know, I'm just gonna... Space these out a little more evenly. Okay, so we got our full four multiplexers, um, and we got our Pro Micro. Um, I think I also have a. I need a footprint for that. Um. I just want something simple. I prefer it. I want just like. Am I stupid? Like what?
Hello, not my real name. Welcome. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to find a footprint for the Raspberry Pi Zero. Um, uh, no, that's a. Uh, is this it? Okay, so this is all my, these are footprints. I need, uh, why is there no library? For, yeah, I'll find that later. I'll just start wiring this up. So, um, I've got the two keyboard control multiplexers here. Or typewriter control multiplexers. I'll just name these. You want it to. Three and four. And then what I gotta do is take this circuit. Oh god. Let me pull up the original. Um Oh, one sec, I gotta sign in. So, ah, never mind. <laughs> um, I love that it shows my name. That's great. Uh, here. I have an SVG of it. <laughs> All right. While that opens, I will just suffer with this. Um, recent circuit. There we go. All right. So we got to turn this into a circuit. Oh, it's not. It's not the same. Well, that's fine. So I gotta wire up the two signal pins. You know, I'll start with that first. So that's common right here. So I'll just go, oh, whoops. And run that over this way. And then I gotta run these, um, actually I'll run the enable pin too. Now, um, I just wanna have it spaced out. And then I can run this. Ah, no. Wire. That. Oh, I think I have to add, like, a net label or something to it. But I can just um, run that to D4. So if I, I think if I go like this... Um, Uh, I should probably, um, properties align right. There we go. And then I do the same over here. And those two. So now this is connected to that in the schematic. So when I go to wire it all together, it'll show me to connect those two. So now, um, yeah, I can just start labeling all these, and that will get it so I can connect them up here. So, how are they wired up? God, I <laughs> this uh, pin numbering scheme is very nonsensical. Um, so I'll start here, I guess. You know, I'll go five, six, seven, uh, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I think that makes a lot more sense. So I go like this. Or, uh, label, what is that? L. Um, uh, 
Where is it? And then and I think if I just go like this, I can copy them over like that. And then I want to remove that link. So, or wait, no. Wait, why did I put this on seven? Oh, duh. Uh, yeah, five, six, seven. And then this one needs to go. Um, yeah, right here. There we go, align left. So now these are all connected. Um, and the reason I'm skipping over eight and nine is because the uh, alt soft serial library uses those two pins. So I can't use them, sadly. <laughs> uh, it's a little annoying, but I can work with it. Um, so I guess this makes that the uh, 11 pin connector multiplexer. Um, and I also need to wire these up and ground the rest of them. But I'll do these ones next. So um, why does this go D10? D what? Does this even have enough pins? This is going to be one, two, three. Oh, wait. Sorry, I'm just counting this up right now. Because um, the... Well, actually, I just have it right here next to it. Um, now I can show off my sick new desk setup because I slapped a webcam uh, on the shelf above my desk so if I go like this uh, yeah so now right here you can see the Arduino all wired up um, and it uses basically every pin um, so now uh, I need one two three four five six and then 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19 pins. Uh, and this has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Um, well, that's a problem. <laughs> I guess I am switching to the Nano? Because that's got the same number of pins as the Uno, I think. Oh, let me uh, switch back to my desktop. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yeah, because this goes... Oh, this is more analog pins. But it's got the same number of digital pins. Or one less. So the Nano should work. Okay. Does this have footprints? It does! Perfect. Amazing. Okay, so now I just extract this all. Da -da -da. And yeah, so I'll go slap this in. Um, okay, that's so much crap. I'm gonna right click. Uh, ta -ta, type right a keyboard, and I just pop that in there to make everything easier on me. And then plug it in content manager. Actually, no, I want to go to the symbol. Yeah, symbol library. Add a folder. 
and that's a two Arduino Nano. Actually, wait, does this already have? Oh, never mind. So just delete this. Okay, this will be, this will work. Uh, and this is five. So now I can do essentially, now I'll start with D2. Because I, I have to skip over D1 and D0 because the USB serial um, converter uses those. So if it's uh, if you're programming it or converting or communicating with it over serial, uh, like from your computer or something, it'll pop up on those pins. At least I think it does on the Nano. I know it does that on the Uno, um, and I wouldn't want the Arduino to be sending a bunch of garbage to the Raspberry Pi um, over these pins while I'm programming it. So that's why I'm not doing that. Um, so I can move this over there. See, now this is starting to make a lot more sense. Uh, got line right. So then I can go like S0, S1, S2, S3 right here for this. Um, actually, I'm going to name them 4, 5, 6. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and there's only three because this is the 8-pin one. Um, I don't know. Label. So D7. Um, Ten. And. D11. Yeah. So then I can just go. Like that. Put those there. And now, yeah. So all these are labeled and referenced. Oh, you know, I'm going to just move this like that way. Let me just get that a little more out of the way. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what key am I putting in the typewriter? Uh, so I'm actually going to design um, a custom keyboard and slap that all in here. Um, I've got some, here, let me grab the switches that I got for it. Uh, one of my viewers sent me a bag of them. Um, so, here, here's the switches, or one of the switches, it's a Alps Clicky, made by Matthias, um, and yeah, one of my uh, viewers on Twitter sent me this, sent me a whole bag of them, and a little, uh, it's a little uh, multi-core, like, sort of Arduino-like uh, development board, um, and I'll have to mess around with this a little bit. It's a, uh, I did a little bit of research and it seems pretty cool. So I'll have to definitely um, try that out. But yeah, um, these are the switches. Very nice and clicky. Here, let me, can you hear that at all? Probably not, <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's what's going in there. So yeah, I've got a, figure out how to get the layout all um, slapped into KiCad, and then, uh, yeah, off to the races. <laughs> yeah, I, I figured my noise reduction would uh, completely silence that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, I've, I sort of designed another keyboard before, but I never actually finished it, so... This is going to be a bit of a learning experience. Um, so yeah, actually, I'm going to rename all these to typewriter, because then the other one can be keyboard. 
That way everything makes a little more sense. And I'm sure there's probably like a more standard way to label all these, but screw standards. I'm my own man. <laughs> I make my own rules. Uh, yeah, sorry. Bear with me. I'm like still sort of learning KiCad, so or KiCad. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's probably KiCad. Yeah. Oh, I completely forgot. I like searched around for music and stuff, and never actually started playing it. Um, this is the Celeste soundtrack. Love that game. Um, and some good freaking music, so... Yeah, that'll... Help with the vibe a little bit. So this is a little too... A little too vibey. There we go. Um, let me know if the music's too loud, too. I can turn that down. All these are renamed, so now I can... Actually, I'm going to turn down the music in my ears. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to order a PCB off a of PCB way. They've, uh, they've offered to sponsor it. Uh, here, let me turn down the music a little more. Actually, I'm just going to turn it down. It is a little too loud for me, too. That might be a little too quiet, but... How about that? Yeah. Um, but yeah, PCB Way, uh, one of their customer service people reached out to me, and, uh, yeah. Um, they said that they'll sponsor the production of the PCB, so... I'm like, all right, free PCB, I'll take that. Because, um, yeah, this, <laughs> since it's going to be freaking massive, uh, it's going to be kind of expensive. Uh, so, lucky for me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll have to, hopefully it doesn't take too long to arrive, because uh, last time I ordered for them, it took, like, months. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they... Maybe they treat the people they sponsor a little better, but, uh, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna add, ah, not my Windows key. Uh, it's car, it's one, uh, I need one by 11, mail connector. Yep, and I'll just... Actually, what's the... There's got to be a key for this. Eh, okay. I got to learn all the key lines and stuff. Makes things way faster. Um, and then I'll add another connector. Yeah. And you can see I already uh, have a few recently used parts because I... I Tried messing around with this a little last night just to make sure I remembered how everything works. Because um, I haven't used uh, KiCad much. I, uh, I, say that too. I actually used Eagle um, mostly in college and then uh, decided Eagle isn't a good program because <laughs> it's crappy uh, and proprietary and kind of laggy too, honestly. Um, and KiCad works great. It's a little less, uh, it doesn't have nearly as many of the like quality of life features that Eagle has, but it does everything I need it to, so I'm not really complaining. Um, so these all need to be grounded. I'll just hook these bad boys up. Um, I'm gonna add a ground.
think these are both completely wired up. Oh, this one needs to be grounded too. Um, yeah. Boom. Oh, this is a name. Two. All right. Um, so now, uh, for the fun part, <laughs> wiring up this monstrosity. Uh, and hopefully I've got a trick up my sleeves that will make this a lot easier. Um, assuming that I can get it to work. There's like a... Here, let me just pull it up. Actually, it's in this group. So there's this website, Keyboard Layout Editor. It's amazing. Um, and it lets you create uh, keyboard layouts. You can do all sorts of stuff with it. Um, like, I don't know. Sure. Uh, like, yeah, here's a keyboard I was working on, just trying to figure out the layout and, like, where everything would go. But, uh, oh, whoops. Um, yeah, I took the liberty of sort of roughly measuring everything out, um, and getting a layout that mimics the typewriter actually used in the keyboard, or in the, the keyboard used in the typewriter. Um, so yeah, then I can take this, and go like that. I already pasted it into there. And I can download both the schematic and the board. And then I think I can just open these in KiCad. Like if I go um, Oh, this is going to like it. Um, there's a way to do it. I'll figure that out later. But yeah. Um, this essentially gives you the whole like PCB layout and everything. I'm gonna have to rearrange the matrix so that matches the one in the typewriter. Um, but yeah, I should be able to use this and it'll make my life a lot easier. Let's see, let me adjust my mic. All right. So, I don't remember how this is wired up. Um, oh right, I also need the pull up resistor. Alright. Uh, oh, this isn't... So, I need a... an R. Um, where should I stop that? I'm gonna move this label. Can I just like... I'll just cut it. Can I? Ah, there we go. Um, I'll put that there and then put the resistor back. The resistor there. Yeah, that looks way nicer. And then... That goes to 5 volts. Yeah. Boom. Now this is wired up. So now I can move on to this. Um, and start... Okay, so these are all there. Enable goes to ground, that's right. Um, so... The typewriter's keyboard has... Let me show you that. Um, the typewriter's keyboard is basically just a, like if you see in there, there's like a bunch of springs with a, around some little cylinders, um, and then the keycaps have like a stem in them that presses down on the membrane. Um, and then it's got this metal back plate that I might be able to use, but there's no real support plate uh, for the keys here. Um, so I'm probably gonna, uh, my plan is I'm gonna, have PCB way make the plate as well so that um, I can yeah just mount those on there and that should make things a lot easier um, in terms of assembly but I, I might be able to do it plateless I'm not entirely sure about Matthias uh, switches 
because I know you can do it with um, the like three pin MX uh, switches. Or not three pin, five pin. Because those, um, they've got to like support. Here, I'll just pull it up. Yeah, so you can see the three pin has like only a center support stem, but the five pin has like two extra ones. Um, actually, let me look at the Alps switches. Oh yeah, these I'm pretty sure have to be plate mounted actually. So you can see how uh, literally no extra <laughs> support other than the little pins. Um, so I think it has to go in a plate. And you can see the sort of rests on there. Yeah. God, I'm kind of digging this whole like desk cam setup. It's pretty nice. I had to clean off my desk though to get rid of the mess. So uh, that was a little inconvenient. <laughs> uh, okay, so enable goes to ground. I already did that. Um, yeah, it's actually pretty tall. Um, now that you mention it, yeah. Huh. Yeah, hopefully it's not too tall that it's like unstable or something, but we'll see. Uh, I really wanted to slap some like SA keycaps on it just to have some like stupidly tall keys, but sadly it only looks like a. Uh, they, they only really make MX keycaps in, or not MX, uh, Alps keycaps in, like, DCS and OEM and Cherry Profiles, uh, which is a shame, but whatever, it is what it is. Um, okay, so I need to tie one of these common pins to 5 volts. Uh, and then the other one goes to, that's right, the pull down resistor, and then the Arduino. So. And then I go. I'll have to add the resistances later and all that. Um, at a ground, and then a label. Um, what is this? Sure. I hate where that is. There we go. Sure. I like that. Whatever. Um, uh, I could 3D print them, um, but I don't have, well, I don't have access to a 3D printer, uh, easily right now, I don't think, um, because most of the maker spaces in my area are actually still closed, sadly, so, but yeah, like, PCBWay could print them, um, I bet you could get some good results with, like, a resin printer, uh, because I, I, I've seen people do that before. Um, actually, DSA Alps 3D log. Okay, not <laughs> not the Alps, not the Swiss Alps. Uh, okay, yeah. Here we go. 3D printing DSA Alps keycaps. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. This is sweet. Okay, I might have to look at this more later. Um, because I would love to have some SA keycaps. Or DSA or something. Um, let's see, actually, yeah. I meant to look at this. Hey. This is pretty sweet. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to mess around with this some more later. Uh, it'd probably be really expensive to get that printed, though, because, uh, 
like uh god a keycap set like that costs like 40 bucks can't imagine what 3d printing that would cost um actually okay here i'm gonna put this on my lip now just so i can look at it um Um, so now I gotta... Okay, enable pins are grounded. Signal's all wired up. I guess now I just slap these in. So this is gonna be keyboard. Yeah, that's zero, not nine. Sorry, <laughs> just taking a drink. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so keyboard S is zero. Keyboard S one. Yeah, there's not too many makerspaces in my area either. Uh, there's one at like one of the libraries um, that I used for a project back in high school, but they um, closed due to COVID and now they're still, yeah, not running. I don't think anywhere. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since I checked, so maybe they're back open again, but yeah. So now uh yeah go add these that's right excuse me that's right there actually mm -hmm. i'll make this the signal pin just to keep everything symmetric uh, is this only key what we need? Keyboard signal and then so uh, uh, keyboard S is zero. Ah. There we go. So we got two pins left. <laughs> Crazy. Man, luckily I don't need any more. Man, that just blows my mind. Um, so yeah, I gotta wire these up to the... I gotta make the serial circuit. But this is the fun part. Um, so there should be, like... a website for this. Not that one. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I gotta, so... Oh, so I gotta get the JSON. And then upload it. Did I screw that up? There we go. Oh, okay. It was already in the JSON format. I don't know what that was. Um, no, whoops. I wanted Alps. Yeah, so there you go. Pops all that bad boy out. And then I can just copy it into CACAD and. Yeah, um, but I actually need to make sure that the switches, or the keys are the right size. Um, let me clear up my desk real quick. So, ah, sorry about that. So, keyboard, right? Another keyboard. Um, so if I just crack the switches off of here, not switches, the keys, keycaps, I should have a pretty good idea of what size these are. So, got a 1U keycap, uh, 1.25, or is that 1.5? I've got to look up the sizes of these, but got our rulers. <laughs> um, let me look this up. Um, so the tab key is, or you know, what am I doing? I can just pull up a normal layout. So if I go to preset, sure, 60, or no, I want a ANSI 60%. So yeah, 1U, 1 1.5, 1.75, 2.25. So you can see how this like lines up, right? So the, sh the keys are all basically the same size as on a standard like modern keyboard nowadays. I just have to figure out how large this gap is and this gap. And I think it looks like it, it's 1.5 units, but I'm not 100% sure. Or not 1.5, 1.25 probably. Um, yeah, because like look at... This is 1.5, yeah, so the difference between these two, yeah, right, is a quarter of a unit, right, and that looks, I mean, that looks pretty right to me, right, so that means this key is actually 1.75 units wide, and this is 1.25, and then two whatever the hell this is 2.5 yeah so I just gotta adjust my layout and then we're off to the races so I just gotta move these all over by and then I gotta figure out where the hell the spacebar is um, cuz it is not this is not supposed to be lined up. That is supposed to be about halfway on the Z key. Actually, I'll just go 75. Uh, 
I mean, that looks pretty damn correct to me. Here, let me zoom in. So we got that, right? And then that. I think that's pretty close, right? I just don't want to screw this up. <laughs> uh, yeah, so then I'm pretty sure these are just one unit wide. Yeah. And then these, oh, I should probably double check. Um, I wish I had like 1.25 unit key. Probably do, actually. Um, that's the same size. Oh, duh, the modifier keys. Come on. I realize this is like sacrilegious, the fact that I'm popping these out by hand, but you know what? I don't have a key, uh, key cap puller. So, boom. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Right? Boom. Okay. So that is the correct layout. So, I think this is good, right? Um, actually, okay, I guess this is where I finalize the design, because uh, I had a few ideas. Um, number one being, this is a 7.5 U spacebar, which is pretty freaking massive in the grand scheme of things. Um, I don't know if anyone sells that, especially in Alps. So, um, I've got like an extra unit to work with, basically, on the bottom row. Uh, because if I go to like, uh, what is it? Yeah. Or no, not WSD. Uh, what is this site? Yeah, mechanical keyboards. So, keycaps, yeah. So, say like, I'm a big fan of this set, right? Um, this is a standard, what, 6.25 unit spacebar? Six 6.25. So I have... God, I can't fight. God, I'm getting a little... There we go, okay. So I can add essentially a whole nother uh, key down here. So what I was thinking is typewriter's got caps lock for some reason down here, uh, word out, which is for correction, and then correct, which is also for correction. Uh, that just corrects the last thing you typed, I think, the like, last character, and this corrects the last word. So, um, I could just keep them, um, and then just add, like, I don't know, I was thinking of adding a control key or something, so that way I could type, or press, uh, like, control Z or something, or control C, uh, to stop, like, a terminal command or something. Uh, which I think is what I'll do. So, if I take this, and then... Uh, I have to remember that these all have to be, like, the symbols or something. Uh, I could just lie. <laughs> I, I will. Um, so this is... I just don't want to all look the same. You know, I'll just make some control tape. So, now that I've got this, download the JSON, and I go back to, what does that say? There we go, yeah. So I want Alps. Uh, and I'm using the AIO3 library. 
How do I predefine my matrix? Oh, I should have. Oops. Matthias. Clicky. Plate mounted. Um. What was I about to do? How do you define the matrix? Okay, thank you. I should turn on focus assist. Uh. Okay. Um. Let's get this track. As much as it, I bet, is wonderful. Yeah, I like that. Oh god. Uh, what is this? Um, this is all... Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'll just rewire it all in the template. So I upload this. Got my JSON file. Hello? Uh, probably. I'll just get rid of this. Right, whoops. Okay. Let's try that again. Got my layout. Custom or raw data. Download JSON. Why am I talking in a southern accent? Uh, yeah, automatic. Cause I, yeah, I don't know if there's any way to to find the matrix in here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll just rewire that myself. Layout. Okay, there we go. Hey, person. <laughs> um. So now I got this, and I think if I just uh, open the project in KiCad. Okay. <laughs> I can't type. How to pronounce? Yeah. Keycad. Okay. Not KitKat. <laughs> okay, here we go. The official name I prefer is KiCad. The French pronunciation is near Keycad. Okay. You know what? Keycad. I will accept that. Um, okay, so I've got the project. Yeah! So now I think I just go like this. Oh, so it's got a net list and the PCB. Okay! It's got all the diodes and stuff too. Hell yeah. Pretty freaking massive uh, thing. And I could have assembled this all myself, and I honestly might have to redo it all myself, depending on how this goes. But if I just go like this, and then open this in the layout editor, I should really save it, actually. Um, oh yeah, I already have a edge cut to find. Perfect! Oh my god, this fits. Perfecto. Okay, so I can just remove this border. Because this is the actual size of the plate that I'm going to use. Boom. Look at that. 
Perfect. Um, actually, how do I... It doesn't look like it has the plate cutout layer. Mm -hmm. I'll have to figure that out. But so basically, I think now I can... Yeah. I just have to make all these switches in the appropriate layout and do that all in here. So I'll just get rid of this. Um, okay. So let me pull up the... And I probably have to dig around in this a little more. But this is essentially what I have to recreate in my circuit, um, which will be very interesting. Um, so, God, I also have to figure out which what each of these corresponds to, because I have to label all of them in my uh, ah, wrong one. Um. I wanted this. So. I guess first I'll start by labeling these. Um. Row. I'll name it. I'll actually spell it out. Yeah, doing repetitive tasks is a really good way to test your, uh, God, uh, ability to do things correct multiple times in a row. <laughs> uh, actually, these are columns. What am I doing? So let's hope this isn't too bad to just design. Um, I need two more. Boom. And then I do the same exact thing all over again, down here. <laughs> just eight times. Skip this. Sorry, I <laughs> made myself chuckle with that typo. So, God, now for the fun part. So the way this is all wired up is that, uh, here, let me close this because I don't need that open too. This, each of these are wired up in series and each of these are wired up in series and all the rows are in parallel, same with the columns. Um, so it should just be a matter of going down the line one at a time connecting them all 
Um, I should just be able to make like a matrix over here. So I will start by adding a switch. Uh, yeah. So this is going to be I. Right? So I'll make... Well, this is the fun part. Now I gotta do this and figure out which one's which. So QWERTY I. So that is switch 28. Right? And I gotta do this God knows how many more times. Like 80. <laughs> Uh, and I can add a label here, right? So, hello, I can add a label. Uh, and this is row. Right. Let me actually, I'm gonna look at Ricky Mouse guide to this. Cause he, God, this guy, absolutely brilliant man. Made like the guide on how to make a keyboard. Um, yeah, here's how he wires it up. So it's, if you close this, it goes this way. I mean, I'm essentially doing the same thing, but it's, uh, sideways. I just got to make sure all the wiring makes sense. How do I want to do this? Because power goes in, it's going to go in this side, come out here. So I need to, it to go in a column and add a row, right? So then that means, okay, row one. And then column one, like this, or something like that, right? And uh, I could include diodes, probably should, but honestly, I'm not going to be using this enough for uh, something I, like. I don't really need end key rollover. I'm not gaming or anything. If anything, if I'm pressing more than one key at once, or more than one key and like modifiers at once, uh, I'm I'm just typing badly. That's yeah. <laughs> uh, so let me just keep adding these. Uh, why is Switch Q Q W E R T Y Switch twenty six. And then add another. This is gonna get actually okay. I'm just gonna add all these. I forgot how much this song slaps. That's right. Yeah. Uh three Alright, here, I'm gonna add a wire. Let's go from here. here. Actually, how large is the switch? I'm just gonna make this the same length. Yeah. yeah. No, I. There we go. I go like that. And the reason I'm doing this is so that the. Uh, since this is missing one, the columns will just go right down it. Um, yeah, I'll just keep adding these switches and I'll label them all. So that's WP pitch typewriter slash text. Got game. Let me leave my. Uh, and then cover hyphen. Actually, I honestly don't even need a key for this. What am I doing? Uh,. Who needs safety mechanisms? Yeah, essentially the, the cover key just 
uh, the, actually, I can show you. I keep forgetting I have a camera. Um, so, right here, see this little lever? When you have the typewriter closed, um, it pulls up on this lever and prevents the little pad down there from contacting the PCB. Um, I just put a little piece of, like, sticky label paper on it. Uh, just to prevent it from pressing it so I could have the typewriter open at all times when I was working on it. Because um, it was really annoying. Uh, basically, yeah, whenever you open the cover, it uh, resets the carriage to the left and doesn't let you type at all or do anything. Um, and I assume it's a safety mechanism of some kind. But who needs safety? Like, what's the point? I'm going to die of my own accord, you know? Okay, so I'm going to add another one of these. God, how long was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's the first row. Right. I can just got to add labels. And I'll move all these so they're more sane in a sec. Now I keep pressing A. God. Reflection. You know what? There we go. This one slaps. Nine, ten, eleven. Perfect. What if I just go like this? Why is this the only Oh, it's because of Gotcha. That's kind of annoying, but Honestly, why it Column looks weird now. I just need to say call. That'll make things a lot easier when I have to type it all in again. Over there. All right, so those are all relabeled. I just gotta do this again. There we go, now they take up way less space. I don't know why I did this in the first place. This gun. Ah. Oh, how am I going to do that? I'll just have a wire running. Up, I guess. Boom. There we go. So. Now, I gotta... 
Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Okay. I-Y-R. Q-W-E-R. You are Switch 24. W is Switch 22. Right? Q-W. Uh, P. That is gonna be. Oh god. Right. Pretty. Is switch 30. Pitch. Oh god. Which one's this? Uh. That is F. Whatever the hell. Switch 51. I s okay, now that I'm like putting this all together, it makes even less sense than it did before. Like what insane person designed this matrix? <laughs> it's all over the place. It's everywhere. Like what is this? Uh it's this one. Ah. Right. And then we do it again. And you know I'll just make this. Four, five, eight. Boom. So, time for another row. So, just go like boom, and then skip over one. That's T E, and then skip over another O, a line height. Three status zero seven. Boom. Right. And then I just go whoop. and connect all these up. And now I just gotta figure out which ones these are. So you, well, P was whatever it was. Right. Yeah, P was thirty. So yeah, U's gonna be. Sorry, I should just look at this. P's 30. O, I, U. Yeah. Oh. And then nothing. T. Q, W, E, R, T. Uh, e, to be E. O is 29. Okay, actually, now it's starting to make some sense. It's not as crazy as I thought it was before, because like these are all right next to each other. I'm sure it'll make more sense as I start to assemble it. That is 
five. Got three. One, two, three, six. Yeah, this is gonna go. <laughs> this is gonna drive me insane. Um, status. It's the top key over here. Status is one. So don't you think it would make sense to start with that? I don't know over here. <laughs> like uh, zero is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Seven is seven. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Switch ten. Oh, perfect. They're all linked. You can see how I, when I click on these, it switches around between them. Perfect. Amazing. So I can see that everything is going in the right place, too. So if I go like this. Oh, it's insane. All right. Um, gotta add a label. Row two. Just mirror that horizontally. Yeah, this is starting to come together. So row three. Yeah, you're gonna hear a lot of me counting to eight in this. Yes. Four. Four, space, two. Wait. I screwed up somewhere. J G got D S got four got two Oh, it's not a gap, I'm stupid. That's just a large amount of space between them. Uh two goes here. And then yeah. Okay. Left margin, six, and plus minus, which for some reason has two. I gotta figure that out. So. Okay, sorry, I'm just like kind of spacing out for a sec. Okay, I, there's, I don't know why I did that with three clicks. There's a much more efficient way of doing that. Like that. D F G H J.
and then G is 42. D. ASD. 40. 39. 4 is what? 7. Two is five. Left margin is nineteen. Uh, six is nine. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. And plus or minus is three. Okay, yep. And then three. That was. Okay. This is so tedious. Uh, actually, one sec. Let me drop the stream link in a few places. Just so back to it. So the next row. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then add another one of these bad boys. So got two of them. Getting there, almost halfway. A S D F G H J K L forty six. A S D F forty one. A eight and then uh, sorry. one half. Oh yeah, that's right after P. Thirty-one, thirty-two, 
and single quotation mark right under that bad boy 48 one is four yeah and margin release yeah is two Boom. Halfway. Oh boy. God, why can't any of these rows be the same? This would be way easier if I could just copy them. And yeah, I gotta figure out what's going on over here with this last few rows. Because I think I have every key on here mapped except for like relocate index step forward with like all those so it's bound to be some of those I bet and I can probably just ignore them but nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna add them I don't want to cut too many features just so it's not a pain in the ass to use eventually Four, five. I gotta figure out what's up with the two plus minus keys because there's something screwy going on there. Um, yeah. So, one more gap and then two of these. You know, I'm gonna change this up a little bit. Actually, no, going row by row has been working pretty well so far, so. I'm just gonna keep doing that so I don't screw anything up. Okay, row five. Okay, what is that? A S D F J or G H J K. Yeah. Forty-five. H is A S D F G H. Forty-three. Q is half. Ah, Twenty-one. Semicolon four seven. Right. Uh, plus minus C. Okay. Let me see in my code. Because I... have it in here. I don't. Sorry, what am I doing? Um... Yeah, I don't know if I ever actually... <laughs> Plus or minus again? Yeah. Um, I don't know which one of these actually works. So you know what? This one gets to not exist. Bye bye. Um, and I can always, like, 
put it in my code so that the other one is thought it was that. Um, yeah. So five. One, two, three, four, five. This is another eight. And this last two. Nine and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And er, twelve. Okay. Nearing the finish here. So, okay. boom, 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 right? Four of those, five of those in a row. And then, yeah, I gotta figure out what's going on over here. Hmm. Well, you know what? Let's do it together! Right. Hey, Stylian, Stylian, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Thanks for stopping by, and I'm glad you're liking it. Yeah, this is, uh, some interesting stuff, hopefully. Um, so if I just crack this open, these tabs out. Boom. Okay. So I need to figure out. <laughs> what the hell this mess is, uh, for one, but, so I've got these, like, ten things that I have no idea what they do, um, and I have to basically go through and figure out which, what each of these pairs of pins does. So, you know, I'm gonna start with the keys that I don't have any idea, which is these four, and these two. I've got all eight of these, right? Code's in here somewhere. There's code in this one. Well, that's important. Come on. Can you... Hello? Oh, it's because of my freaking Google Drive being full. Right. No, I have space. What the hell? Code. There we go. Jesus. Oh, well, now i got to figure out which one of these is which. Um... Palm 7. There is this one. Uh, switch that. Yeah, it's right here. Got key. Okay. Uh, add a switch. And this one is. Oh, sorry. I completely forgot. I'm um, there. We go. Uh, completely left me behind. Uh. Switch fifty two. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I just uh was fighting Google Drive over getting this in there. Um, but now there's that, so I didn't forget that key. Okay. But now, I really do have to figure out what those keys do. So, let's start with print. You know, I can just pull this out. So print. I mean, yeah, I know, right? 
drive is such a pain in the butt sometimes. So this, okay, so it's definitely in the last column, right? And then follow the other one down this way, right? You see that? Uh, like that, that goes up here, across here. Did I just screw up? Oh yeah, here we go. Boom, it's this one going across. Up, down, around. Okay, so print is the very last key in the matrix. Boom, so now I've just added that right here. And now we do it again for the other ones. So end is the next one. Goes like this. God, that's freaking small. I gotta get it. Go down here, through here, up and over, way across over here, and then boom. So second to last row, okay, right? And then we do the other side. Right. This is so small. Boom, yeah, here, across. Spin over and boom. Oh, so that's uh here. End right. Second to last. God, I wish I had a multimeter that I could use to actually measure this. God, what? You know. <laughs> okay. So, got those two. Now we gotta get this one, uh, which is forward. Right here. Yeah, so second to last column, okay, it's one of these three, um, and then the other side, or did I, which one did I follow? I'll follow the top one. Yeah, okay. Down, around here, up here, through here, geez Louise. Uh -huh. third to last. So that's gonna be there. Okay, and then I gotta do step right now, yeah. And I think after that, since I, hmm, I should probably really, use like the relocate and index keys somewhere. I should probably swap these for some of these because I, the way my layout's set up, uh, I opted for backspace here, which I mean, this key isn't gonna be used for anything, probably. That will likely just become, I don't know, one of the special symbol keys. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. This is what I was looking at. Um, yeah, so I could just leave everything in exactly the same place, but since I've moved backspace up here, because that's, you know, the normal place, 
uh, I don't have space for relocate and index here, so I probably will make this like relocate, and then one of these I will get rid of one of the special keys for or something. Um, in that case, though, uh, let's figure out step. I actually have no idea what that even does, so you know. Uh, form man. Yeah, I <laughs> I have no clue what most of these special function keys do. Um, but if I look in the manual, it should tell me. Um, yeah. So index moves the paper up and down. Uh, it's like when you're loading paper. I think relocate. Um, ah, here we go. Oh, that's for the half backspace. Um, yeah, yeah, a bunch of extra formatting stuff. Here we go. The relocate line or key moves you to the end of your typing line rapidly. Um, yeah, so it'll it'll take you back to where you were if you make a correction, uh, which is really nice. Um, yeah, and I don't know what step and forward and end I'll do. I think forward. Uh, I think most of those are used for like when you're using the screen and like typing documents on that. Which is a terrible experience. I don't recommend <laughs> Not one bit. Uh, but yeah. So. Step. Is here. Right. So I'm just going to follow this. Down. And. Across. So that's going to be. Uh, all the way across here. Up. Oh and over up into this clusterfuck boom boom and down so that's second to last uh, column or row so we're here and then other side boom right down this way right down and yeah okay so that's here and honestly at this point I've, <laughs> I don't think these do anything they're probably so there's this key and these five that uh, don't exist on my typewriter um, well, they exist here, but they, there's no key for them. These are for the uh, arrow, arrow keys, sorry, uh, for the document editing on the screen. Um, this one, I think, is for selecting stuff. Um, and I have no clue what this is for. Uh, and none of those actually are supported by my typewriter. Oh, there's also this right here. Interesting. What would that be? I don't know. There's something secret. Uh, but yeah, I mean, here you can see the little piece of the paper that I stuck on top of the cover switch. Um, but yeah, so that's the entire matrix mapped out. Uh, luckily, that wasn't too hard to do the rest of them. But this means I also have all this extra space or all these extra empty spots for like a control key or other custom keys that I might want to add. So with that, I think I can get back to doing this. So I need a space here, switch. Worst case scenario, if I screw this up, I can always 
reprogram it. Because the matrix isn't really set in stone. It would be nice if I completely matched it one-to-one, -one, because that way then the... Um, if I wanted to, I could just wire it directly into the typewriter and uh, forego the Arduino and all that entirely. Boom. I don't know what's up with this gap here. Hmm. So now, uh, sorry, virtual, yeah, M. Uh, So, Z, X, C, V, B, N, M, right? Yeah, sorry, Z, X, C, V, B, N, M, 60. And this is 58. Z, X, C. 56, Z is just 54, return, it's all over here, 49, oh yeah, also, so the typewriter has a big ass enter key, sadly not, well, it's not a standard big ass enter key, but it's basically a big ass enter key, sadly, no one sells those, um, with Alp stems, so I can't do that. I I honestly really wanted to put a big a big ass enter on here, but can't find one. Yeah, the the days of big ass enter on uh, ANSI keyboards are over. Sadly, what a shame. Uh, this is 15. See, this is the shit I'm talking about. Like, it it starts to make sense, and then boom, just out of nowhere. Yeah, you're going all the way to the top right corner of the keyboard. Like, wacky design. Uh, comma, period. And then forward is this one. God, what in the world? Why? <laughs> Why does this have to look like this? God. Uh, so row six. Okay. Almost there. Three quarters of the way. Uh, boom, boom, skip one, bunch of them in a row, ah, um, end, gap, step, all right, boom, and then Add some wires. Da da da. And boom. Oh, come on. So Z, X, C, V, B, N, 59, Z, X, C, V, 57, X, 55, comma, God, which one's this? This one's period, comma, 61. 
Oh, let me get, uh, let me know if you guys hear the like landscaping work that's happening outside. I can close my window. Forward slash is 63. End 50. And step is, sorry, 17. Okay. Now add another label. And last row, finally, God. Uh, wait, sorry, no idea of what's there? I'm not sure what that was in response to. There's like a 10 second delay. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right. Uh... Yeah, I guess my noise cancellation is doing a pretty good job. <laughs> um, so I'll just add some more. Two, three. One, two, three. Add another one of these. And print. Boom. Boom. So once I do this, I gotta figure out where to put my control key. Or the extra control key, or whatever. Um, and yeah, off to the races. Well, we're already off to the races. Uh, label row eight, boom, and yeah, let's put these bad boys in. So caps, that is this bad boy down here. I don't know why, but it is. Right align. Wait. Huh? What the hell is right align? So, okay. Let me, let's figure this out together. Uh, it's in the last row, third from the right. So, this. Oh god, this is going to be interesting. So it's got to be... Yeah, I don't even know where to begin with this. Okay, I'm guessing it's somewhere over here, right? Huh? Well, you know what? I'm just gonna ignore it, cause I don't have any freaking clue. I'm guessing I'm mixed up. Ended something? I have no idea. Okay, wait a minute. See, if this was designed any more sanely, I could just look at it and know where it is. 
But no, they had to be all creative and shit. Um. God, there's like no space on my desk. I'm like operating on like no space at all. So, yeah. Um, God. Where else does this go? Sorry. I don't know what else it would be. Well, you know what? We don't need to worry about it. I'm the god of this keyboard. I can do what I want. This is no longer that key. Oh, can I select it? Hello, thank you. Okay. Shift lock, though. That's a key. It's this one. Backspace is up here. Okay, so index. Let me put space and shift and print. 68. Shift. Oh, there's probably right shift somewhere that I'm missing, but... Yeah. I only use left shift because I'm a maniac who never learned how to type correctly. Okay. So index, given that that's seemingly one of the only keys that doesn't have a thing, you know what? You can be the pipe key because I'm never going to use you. Um, hmm. Can I, like, go back? I can. Okay. Okay. So this one doesn't have anything, this one doesn't have anything. This one doesn't, this one doesn't. Right shift isn't mapped. God, see, just like jumping around the keyboard like this. Like, okay, at least this group sort of makes sense. I don't know, man. This is all over the place. Um, okay. So, right shift. I gotta figure that out. That is... Let me pull this up. That is this bad boy right here. So, let's follow the lines. Yeah, what do they have to do? Like impossible to follow when they've got it all. Okay. Last row. Okay. Sorry, I lost track of it again. Here. And oh no, whoops, I just went to I did that one. Yeah, this is yeah. Boom. Boom. and okay, so third from the last. 
Oh, they're both wired up. Like that. Really? What about the other one? Let's call it out. Shift, right, yeah. Boom. Yeah, last column. Oops. Where does this go? Huh? Sorry, one sec. I gotta look at this. Okay, shift. Last row. All right. Boom. Then over and down. Down again. Oh, okay. Three from the last. Oh, so they're both wired up. To the same pins okay well, let's get to know but how the hell do i wire that up do i just put two switches in parallel it's right here all right um I hate this so much. Uh, switch. Uh, either way, they're going to overlap, whatever. Switch 64. Okay, so now I got to figure out correct um, word out and caps. Or no, caps is already. That should be 66. What am I doing? Boom. Yeah. Okay. So. These two. Or these two. Or you know what? Okay. I'm going to put control here and then uh, word out and correct on the right side. I think that makes more sense. It feels more natural to me. Hmm. You know what? There's no music going. I completely forgot. Um, you know, here, let's play the Celeste B sides. Uh, that's a little. You know, this one bobs. All right. Okay. Um. Okay. So, gotta figure out these two guys. Hopefully, that's easy. Yeah. 
Last row. Um, it's on the same base bar. Sorry, I just completely screwed this up. It's this one. Last and first. So that's uh, word out. So I'll go like this. And that will be so switch sixty nine. Nice. All right, and then uh, this one goes boom. Second to last column, easy. And yeah, last row, right? Yeah. So. It's there. This one. Uh, correct. Uh, some A. And then now, I get to put control wherever I want. Control here. Is this one? Yeah. There, where did, there we go. Uh, sixty-six. Yeah, sixty-seven. And now, when I click on each of these, it should take me. To a different switch each time. That's just a trick of the eye. I mean, all these are labeled correctly. Actually, it's probably easier if I go the other way around just to make sure everything is. Is this out oh, tab set? Okay, so I want it's this key right here. That is. Fourth row. Somewhere here. It's so hard to keep track of all this shit. There we go. Boom, boom. Third from the right. Two, 
make sense. So that should be right next to switch one. Or well four. So Stop trapping me in this freaking window. Um, it's this one. Alright. Yeah. 36. So, boom, 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 boom. Oh, I need tab. Boom, boom. Oh wait, this is stupid. What am I doing? This is never gonna work. Uh, they need to be in parallel. So now both of these are like they're the same row. Or same character. Key, whatever. Um tab. Important key? Maybe. Um and that would be so right here. Oops. Okay, so that goes. the pure program. Okay, last row. Uh, it probably goes right where it put control, doesn't it? Um, Oh, it's tab, not right align. <laughs> Remember how this was, I was so confused about that? It was tab, it's because I didn't have any tabs set in the first place. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. So now. And this is switch 20. Okay, boom, boom. Okay, all right, it's looking good so far. Oh, no, okay, good. Hey. Boom, okay. Schematic done. <laughs> I think, I hope. Um... Oh, no, I gotta ground all these. Uh. Okay. The fun part, actually, the tedious part, uh, is over now. So now I should be able to... Well, these are already...
Oh god, I have to... I mean, they're already, like, linked, right? So I should just be able to go, um... Ah. I need to assign these footprints. Oh boy. Uh... God, let me close all this. This is gonna be... Uh, I actually haven't designed a single keyboard before. Well, I designed like one, sort of, but I never finished it. Um, yeah. I've just uh, got some experience with electronics, so I, I sort of know my way around. Um, but honestly though, I'm kind of clueless when it begin or comes to this shit, so... Yeah. Um, I gotta figure out how the hell to uh, assign all these to the correct ones. Good. Okay. So what I need is to figure out what each of these switches here. Boom. Boom. Switch one is one year. Switch two, also one more. Switch three. They're all one until 16. Okay. And 16 is two. 17 is one, yeah. Eighteen, nineteen. This is one point five. Ah, 2.5, yeah. Uh, 21. 1. All the way up to... 32. Uh-huh, and then... Yeah, this is another... Uh... Well, I can just look at my freaking layout. What am I doing? I designed it. I'm... 1.5. 34. Also one new. Yep. yep. 37 is 1.75. One year, all the way up till okay. And then forty nine. God, this is two point two five. This is one. These two are also one. Uh, this is 2.25. Right. Yep. And then one you all at 63. This is big, 2.75. Uh, and one, yeah. And then it's 
Oh, I... Okay, wait. One you. One you. 64 is supposed to be... some five and sixty five is one. Okay. That's sixty six. Yeah. Two sixty five, right. Oh no. Uh Sorry, I need to put this for a sec. Um, I just want to make sure. I mean, yeah, that. I'm just was not checking. I was just double checking that. See how this lines up with Q, I guess. Um, and then over here it lines up with the apostrophe Q. So I was just double checking. Um, sorry, let me get back to that. So now, um, 70, sorry, I was like, that's really distracted. Oh, okay, sorry, 67. 66 is 1.25, 7 also 1.25, 6.25. 1.25 Okay. And then now? Um. Okay, wait. I have to correct some of these. Okay, actually, one sec. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. I'll let you guys enjoy this music. Correct all these. Make sure they're one hundo. God, can you snap? There we go. Um, God, which one was it? Hmm. Oh. Okay. Did it? No. I okay. Go like this.
There we go. Okay. So I gotta make sure that these all match. I'm just going to trust this on all these and well, let me know. 33 needs to be 1.5 and then That's is that right? Oh, push sixty. You know what? Oh, you know what I did. I was uh, looking at this number, not this. Uh, so 64 should be... That's right. Yeah, 49, okay. Okay, uh, all matches. to those, that's right. Sixteen should be two, yeah. I don't know why I made that one point five. I wish there was an easier way to do this. It's less tedious than going back and forth. This is so annoying. Okay. Excuse me. Oh my god. These all match, this matches. 20 is supposed to be 1.5. Okay, I'll try to do more than one at once. 20 should be 1.5. Uh, and 29 should be 1. Should be two point two five. Forty five should be one. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. Yeah, whatever. Okay, there we go. Because uh, I still want to double check that these are all correct. Um, 
Okay, I think they're all correct now. Let me just double check. Thirty-seven should be one point seven five. Hey, Leandro, welcome to the stream. Uh, right now, I am trying to figure out <laughs> all of these and make sure they're all in order so I can start hooking everything up in the blueprint or the. PCB, whatever. And this is really not making it easy on me. Oh, what was the other one I had to change? 37 should be one. What is 37? 37. Boom, boom, boom. Uh -huh. Sorry I'm like going back and forth so much with this. I just want to make sure it's 100% right. Yep, all this matches. Yep. I mean, unless I missed something, looks good to me. Okay, so I need to assign these footprints. Okay. Um, I need... Yeah, what is this? Okay, so I gotta figure out... Um, There's like a... Footprints is under. Connector. It's not Molex. God. Ah, pin header. Sorry, I'm just blind. Um, okay, so one by eleven. Okay, so I want vertical. One by eleven, vertical, and then one by eight, vertical, and then Okay, so resistor through hole. Yeah. Um, and I just want something with like that should be good. Okay. And now for the magic. I go like this. Update PCB with changes. Hey, no errors, no warnings. All right. And... Boom. 
So now... <laughs> oh god. Now is the crazy part. Oh, I completely forgot to add the Raspberry Pi. Um, also, you know what? I'm going to make this uh, a little smaller. Yeah, there we go. That fits a little nicer. Um, okay. So... God, I, like, found a perfect one the other day. See, no, I don't want... Uh, I just want, like... board template. I just want... Is this the one I found earlier? I think it is. Yeah, no, this is a template. I just want... Is this <laughs> this song's really boppy, really bouncy. <laughs> um It doesn't have the these are so old. Our pilot. Oh, come on. I just want. How difficult can this be to find? Am I crazy? Like, I don't even know this site. Like, okay, so it doesn't even have it. See, I don't even know what that site is. Soulrace.top, what? Do I just have to use this one again? Raspberry Pi socketed THT face down mounting holes. I guess. Um, well, I have this one. Um. Uh, up. See, it has the footprint, but not the library. There's no symbols. You crazy? Screw it. You know what? This can go just in here. I'll figure out how to wire it up. <laughs> well, uh, but the... I don't have the, the pinout label. With no symbol library. God. Is there nobody just like... I just want like... All of them in one place. Mm 
going crazy. Like, I don't want hat templates. How hard is it to? F Okay, this is just like, yeah, official libraries. See, yeah, two and three. There's no zero in here. Like, come on. Okay. It uses the same pinout, right? I just need the footprint. Okay, screw it. Raspberry Pi. Um, all y'all will be not connected. Okay. Why the hell are there so many freaking ground pins? Well, I'm gonna connect every one of them. Um, and I just need TX and RX. Um, and actually, I'll just build this circuit over here. So, TX from the Raspberry Pi can just go straight over here. I actually don't remember. Switch. Um, here we go. Uh, it's an eight and nine because it's a Uno variant, I believe. Um, Mega three two eight, yeah. So receive is eight. Excuse me, sorry. And then nine, I just need a voltage divider circuit for. So I just add. Oh, I gotta. Hmm. Let me put on some more music. Uh, you know, I'm gonna play the Mario Sunshine soundtrack. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Super Mario Sunshine. Gotta set these values too. Um. I don't remember what these are. I can figure that out later. Or should I just use a level? Sh I mean, like. No. Uh, spark fun. 
because I'm going to be ordering some parts from here. Might as well see if they have a few more that I can buy. See, I mean, like, the voltage divider circuit was working pretty fine. I don't know, maybe. I could buy it from DigiKey, but chances are I'll have to buy it in bulk. And there's too many things to choose from. So that makes it a lot harder. Oh. Ooh. I could just buy a couple of these. Um. to the soundtrack actually <laughs> I never played much uh, sunshine um, see I could do this but that's kind of big <laughs> a lot bigger than two resistors so uh, I will just go with that see I don't like this being just sort of jammed over here but, you know what, whatever. This goes to ground. And then this goes to RX. And the rest of these I don't care about. I think, anyway. Um. setting these right um I just want to make sure okay yeah it's just the numbers cool yeah that's the footprints I'll set for that I do this all again. I should probably uh, add the library. Okay, and then now I can do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So this. Don't even know where it would be under. It's not any of these, come on. So many connectors, yada yada yada.
right? Oh, it's gonna be called... Yeah, Raspberry Pi Zero Socketed. Okay. See, none of these are... I just want the freaking Pi Zero. These, these have footprints. Oops, just, I'll just make it the same. So, 2.5, 10.6. Oh, there's a potential. What do I do? Uh, resistor. 10.16. Perfect. Okay. Apply, save schematic, and continue. Boom. There's my Pi. And a few resistors. So, now. Okay, wait a minute. This, this size doesn't look right. Also. Oh, these came back because I was pressing Control Z a bunch earlier. Okay. So, fun part is figuring out where the hell everything goes and the actual dimensions of this because it seems to be incorrect. Uh, I'm gonna go grab a ruler. I'll be right back. Y'all can bop to whatever this is for a sec. Okay, one sec. Let me add like a be right back. Thing. Uh, four. Perfect. And then I'll just add some text. Perfect. That's kind of hard to read, but you get the idea. Alright, I'll be right back.
Alright, I'm back. I'm gonna... So I grab myself a snack and a drink and a rover. Alright. So desk cam. Alright. So I got this bad boy. Gotta just measure this. Make sure I got the dimensions right. Cause it seems like I didn't. It is four and seven eighths, right? See that? Um, ah, whoops. Sorry about that. All right. So I just want what is seven eighths? Twenty three point eight, yeah, right? And this is properties. There we go. Oh my god. Gotta do all this math. I mean, I guess I do have a lot of space to work with. Hmm. Oh, I do have to figure out exactly how far the, uh, sorry, the keys need to be from the bottom. This seems a bit large, though. Huh. Okay, so, like, what I'm looking at here, right, this from about here. Well, okay, let me just get the plate. Where? Oh. Uh, this way. Oh, we get the game over music. All right. <laughs> so. This height, like this distance from here to here, is 124 millimeters or four and seven eighths inches. Uh, I guess that is pretty significantly taller than the. Uh, all right. Yeah, I'm gonna snap this back on and just see. So, the distance from this edge, right, to the bottom of the space bar is probably pretty important. So I'm going to measure that. Dude, Mario music, man. Freaking slap. 
Okay, so this is five sixteenths. Just about five sixteenths, I think. Um so I go like this. No. I don't wanna move that. So this should be How do I even like dimension this shit? Is there like Yeah No, don't snap to the grid. Not. Oh, okay, now it's not even. Okay. Well. <sighs> Five sixteenths. Got tonight. Got so many tabs and windows open. Sorry. There we go. Eight millimeters. Yeah. Okay, so since Boom. So, okay, so I need to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Should be like. There. You know, what? I'm gonna just put this on like the grid. Because for some reason it isn't? This is probably going to be... Really? Okay. Now this definitely isn't the right size, but... I can... Dimension it. Okay. Oh, can I just go like... That's way nicer, okay. So it's gonna be like half a millimeter undersize. Or, no, this is probably too big by one. So I'll go like that. So now, this should be Like half a millimeter under ish. I mean, it should probably be more like a hundred twenty three. Yeah, that's more like it. And then this would be. That, I guess. I mean, yeah, there's a decent gap on either side of each uh, key on the sides. So now I go like this. No. Oh. 
not like that. No, not like that. And then... Oh my god. Really, you need to unselect everything. That looks pretty centered to me. Well, what's this? Oh. Well, no, because... Okay, so that's got to go down by a few. Ah, okay, bro. Okay, that's the dimension I'm looking for. Uh, Confused as to that Spanish connection, like this connection doesn't make any sense. I'm not really vibing with this soundtrack all that much. Um, here we go. Now this is an OST.
Um, going on here. flipped around. I'm gonna change that. Oh, whoops. Oh, oh sorry. I'm open about it. Wait, you can do d wait, wait, wait. Wait, and I want logic gates. Wait a minute. Around too much. I'm uh, already struggling to figure this out. Um,
Okay. Uh. Sorry, what's going on? Oh, I paused that. Okay. Um. All right. Sorry, I've been sitting around, just drinking, thinking. Um. So. The problem I'm having here is that the way I've wired it up in the schematic it uh, thinks that these need to be uh, wired together all well, even though they're Keyboard Atelier Discord have any idea? Um, three chat, yeah. Okay. Gotta love this song. Um, alright. Let's... Let's see what's going on. Okay. So, I frankly have no freaking clue 
What is going on here? I should probably save. Because, okay. Like, let's think this through. Right? Switch 28. Where is that? Let's just use this as an example. Right, so this goes to the multiplexer, right? But then it wants me to... Okay, what's going wrong over here? Switch 51. Right. That's... Where is that? God, I... Oh, I can... What am I doing? 51. Take me to your leader. Yeah, so it's the same thing over here. Do I really need diodes? God, I don't want to double the amount of soldering I have to do. They have a keyboard design. Like, okay. Yeah. Here, I'll get a screenshot of this too.
Uh, what was it? What was I gonna say? Uh, doesn't. Let's keep thinking. Okay. What in the hell is going on here? You know, I'll just ask my Discord. Uh. Also, yeah, speaking of Discord server, I have it. It exists. Hop in here. The invite will be in the description. Uh, yeah. Um, but let's think about this. What is going on here? Am I stupid? I don't think so. <laughs> Hope not. This doesn't look crazy to me, right? Like, say... Oh, sorry about that. Oh, wait, this is completely wrong. Uh, never mind. Okay, I've spent the whole whole three hours on this, and I just realized that that's completely wrong. Uh, how to wire a keyboard matrix? Okay, this song is kind of weird. There we go, that's a good one. Okay. I'm stupid. It's, uh... Luckily this is totally totally salvageable um, I just need to separate them into columns and then go from there so I feel like this yeah and I just need to Right, so now I just need, yeah, okay, this makes a lot more sense. I can do this. Mm. 
it's all the labels. Fuck me. Here's what I'll do. I move everything over one to the right. I should be able to just delete the wire. And that should split them without removing the designators. Uh, Okay. Okay, so now, God, this is going to be fun. Got to select, like, 80 freaking wires. Actually, 90. More like. That guy was saying I had a lot of experience. <laughs> it looked like I had a lot of experience. I just looked like I knew what I was doing. And I did. Fake it till you make it, baby. I don't want to delete. Damn it. Okay. Uh. I'll do this one row at a time, or one column at a time. So let's grow. Keep it going. You know, I'm gonna finish unscrewing this up, and then I think I will call it for the stream. I'll probably do another stream tomorrow.
Okay. Now, um, I'm gonna move these because they need to be slightly different. Okay. So it should look something like this. That's a bus, by the way. Okay. Now it's starting to make some more sense, right? Can I actually make these 45 degree angle? I really don't like how that looks. Uh, schematic editor options. Okay, um, let's undo all that then. Yeah, there we go. I'll just make sure that goes all the way. Boom. I'll have to space these out. Set sounds a little clearer. Yeah, this one's a banger. Can I make this? There we I might have to switch back to the A2 blueprint. How <laughs> huh. about that? God. Oof. That Can I make this any more... So this needs to be... 
Um, so it's two, always. Okay. And now we just continue vibing. And filling this out. Let's keep it going. Boom, there we go. That made my life easier. Okay, so now I just delete all the ones that I don't need. Okay, so now when I press a key, it actually will go through. So say I press 38, right? So this is closed. It goes down this way, down here, and out that way. And there's no switches in the way to stop that. There we go. Yeah, I'll let him know I fixed it. Oh. This... I hate that, but yeah. Um, okay. So this is saved. Uh, now if I do this, no errors. And now everything makes a lot more sense. Yeah, this, this looks like it. All right. So. Um, God, I could keep going. I really could. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna call the stream for now. Um, and either later tonight or, I don't know, tomorrow, I will stream the rest of me working on this. So thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, yeah, I'll see you next time.